In an East Point neighborhood, fear their pets are being poisoned tonight. They say at least two dogs have died already and others have gotten sick. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Pomerini is live in East Point with their heartbreak and their suspicions. Uh, Brianne, what have you learned? Well, Carolyn, it's families living on Lexington who are concerned. One woman who had two dogs die filed a police report here. Another woman who says her dog became ill plans to contact police tomorrow. They say they think there's a serious connection and they want police to be on the alert. Shantae Thomas and her mother had two pugs, 10 year old Desi and five year old Garfield. They were a father and son pair and on Monday they noticed Desi foaming at the mouth and lying on the ground. We took him to the vet and the vet told us that he was poisoned. Garfield soon started showing similar symptoms and he got the same diagnosis. Both dogs passed away. I'm more than a little sad. Um, it's, it's hard to see my mom down about it. I'm just I don't know, I'm trying to just keep it all held together. Thomas didn't know where the poison came from, so she started talking to neighbors. One neighbor said his dog died very recently and he didn't know why. Multiple others said their dogs had become ill. Neighbors like Teresa Rizzo. That's when I kind of said, started like putting it together. He got a hold of something, but he was big enough to fight it off. He didn't ingest enough. Now the neighborhood is concerned someone might be targeting their pets. And on one street, all these dogs are being, getting sick or dying. They're not sure who or why someone would do this, but Rizzo and Thomas plan to stay alert. Especially in today's world, why anybody does anything. Rizzo hopes to see more police officers patrolling in her neighborhood. As for now, she will be keeping a close eye out in her backyard. Live in East Point, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. I bet they all will. Just sick to think about it. Thank you, Brianne.